Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing good. Well, in this video, we are going to see about self-pip speaking tips. Already we have seen listening tips, reading tips, writing tips. This is going to be our last section in the exam, speaking. So one general tip that is applicable for this speaking test is nothing but you have to talk, talk and keep on talking. Only then you will be able to improve your flow and fluency because we are not you know uh, native english speakers and uh, we have different mother tongues so our brain will generally what what it will do is it will think in our own mother tongue and while speaking it will translate it to english and then it will speak so that is why it is somewhat difficult for us to you know get that fluency or get into that flow if we keep on talk and practice uh, talking in english automatically our brain will start thinking in english so it will not be uh, it will not be a very uh, tedious job for us to find words and form a sentence during our exam time practice a lot and speak really more only then we will be able to get that flow and fluency what you can do is you can take your phone and uh, you can start your video please don't see and talk because you will get distracted by seeing yourself on the phone you will definitely get distracted what you can do is place it on the table let the phone uh, face the ceiling you can just start the video and to start talking once uh, the time is up you have to stop it listen to your recording how you are how you sound uh, whether it is good or how, how well you are able to gather the points how you are able to articulate them and uh, the tone how how is your tone is there any uh, grammatical mistakes are there how you can rectify it all you can know only by listening to your recordings so please do record your uh, audio while you are talking or while you are uh, practicing it is re it will really help you so there are totally eight parts in self pip exam speaking exam so the first part is giving advice which is really easy it's it's very common and natural thing for us to give advice to anybody right so it will it is going to be very simple and uh, the topics are also it's going to be very real real life situation it is not like you have to talk with that person this person no you, mostly you will be talking with your friend or your colleague or one of your family members or your boss something like this only the day to day life uh, you will be interacting with someone right that person only will be there in that question and you have to give advice to them so definitely it is going to be simple and we can really manage it well they will be giving 30 seconds for preparation we have to talk for 90 seconds that is one and a half minutes this is somewhat really uh, lengthy but no other go first part giving advice is one uh, we have to speak for one and a half minutes so here the first thing we can do is we have to go through the question understand it really well because it will take at least 15 seconds for us to read the question properly and understand it so we have only 15 more seconds uh, left in that 15 seconds it is not possible to gather so many points at a time what we can do is think of some two to three points which we can manage for the first few section first few seconds once we start talking automatically in that flow the points will start coming so you don't have to worry you have to keep practicing only then during the exam time that flow that natural flow will come so the first thing we have to do is greeting read the question properly if they have mentioned some name say for example your friend mary is trying to reduce her weight advise her if this is the question you have to make note of the name mary you have to keep in mind that your friend name is mary so while talking you have to talk like hi mary how are you doing well i know that you are trying to get back into shape and don't even worry about it because i know you are a very determined person so this this flow just example i'm talking so the thing is we have to talk to mary here you have to keep that in mind and also it is mary is nothing but our friend so i'm asking how are you doing how is it going so we have to start a informal conversation not a formal conversation like hi mary i know you are trying to reduce your weight no if will you talk like this to your friend no right once you talk with with your friend you will definitely ask how are you doing how is life going everything you will ask and then only you will go into that uh, particular thing right so that is the same thing we have to do here just imagine you are talking with your real friend and then talk automatically that uh, tone that points everything will come into place 
the first thing is greetings and then uh, we will go into the actual uh, tips here first and foremost is grammar it is very foundation for everything if grammar is not good even though we have a good vocabulary even though we have a good fluency it is faced so grammatical mistake should not be there at least it should be really really minimal only then we can uh, score more than nine so take care of your grammar try to brush up your grammar that is really important next thing is vocabulary vocabulary is not like we have to use the uh, high five words not nothing like that we just have to ignore the basic boring words like happy like bad instead of using these words we have to make use of fancy words like i am delighted to talk with you after a long time uh, that was really bad experience instead of that we can say that was really terrible experience for me so we have to use this fancy words that is what is all about vocabulary words and then third is natural tone this will come automatically when you you know imagine that you are talking with your real friend not in before your computer only if you think that you are really talking with your friend that natural tone will automatically come with come to you if you think that you are talking in front of a computer you will start talking like uh, hi mary i hope you are doing good this flat tone this is this will not work out Uh, what they are expecting is whether we are able to have have a conversation in a natural tone this is really important if you want to get our score more than 9 then connectors connectors are really important what i i used to do is i use the word and a lot generally while after completing first sentence before starting the next sentence if i take if i take 2 seconds uh, to you know think i will fill that uh, time gap with the word and and this is what i will i will i was doing uh, in the initial stage i was doing this and uh, while rec- i while hearing my recording i found that okay fine i'm using this and as a connector a lot so what i did this i have made i uh, have made sure that i have written down uh, many connector words like uh, whereas instead of in addition to moreover however and also but all these are okay and is fine also is also fine but using only one time is fine so we have to make use of a, a very good connector words say for example we can start our uh, conversation like uh, using the word uh, using the word firstly so it will like firstly i know that you are trying to reduce your weight don't even worry about it i know you are a very determined person and you you will definitely reach your uh, goal very qu- real quick so here we have talked about one sentence then and moreover i know you are not a morning person but somehow you have to wake up early in the morning only then you can go out for a brisk walk and burn really more calories so here we use the word moreover instead of the word and so this is how we have to use connectors in between the sentence and the fifth part is time management time management is nothing but we we already uh, we got only 30 seconds for this preparation time out of which 15 seconds will go by reading the question and understanding it in the balance 15 seconds it is not possible to think of all the points so what we can do is we can quickly go through okay fine we can talk about this we can talk about this we can talk about this like that we have to think and keep and then on the flow while talking on the flow the points extra points will come how it will come we have to keep on practicing only then we will be able to get that flow during our exam and also the end statement is also really important it is not mandatory to you know uh, complete it with a proper ending statement but it will be real nice if we can end our conversation with a proper ending statement say for example before that 90 seconds uh, before that uh, 90 seconds ends you will listen to a voice like time is up we you have to stop when you hear that because after that automatically your voice will get cut so before that itself when when it's going to get over at the at the time of 80 seconds itself you can you can sense okay fine this is going to over so how you can give a end statement fine mary i hope you will definitely find my uh, advice really useful for you just in case if you need any further assistance don't hesitate to call me i'm always there for you take care see you soon bye so this is how we should end our conversation we are talking with our friend just in uh, just in this example we are talking with our friend 
so we should end our conversation with a bye which is really that is how we will end our conversation with our friend right so that is what i am saying end statement is somewhat really important if possible try to manage your time really uh, well and give a proper ending statement if you really practice well you can definitely you know uh, end your conversation within that 90 seconds with a proper end statement so that is all about part 1 giving advice part 2 is personal experience we have to talk about personal experience here in this question they are giving 30 seconds for preparation and we have to talk only for 60 seconds it is going to be real quick because once you start talking about your experience right it is about our own experience so it is not going to be difficult at all so once we start speaking quickly time will go and uh, 60 seconds will come so that is this is what i felt and uh, no uh, the greetings is like they won't ask you to talk about your first job experience to mary to, about your uh, experience to your friend about your Uh, best vacation experience to your mother they will not specify a particular person they will generally ask us to talk about our experience say for example the question might be like talk about your favorite vacation talk about your first job experience so this is how they will ask so how we can start is with a generalized greeting hi there well i would like to talk about my first job experience which i will never ever forget at all because like that we can start so generalized greetings is enough for this part 2 the tips are really common for this also like we have to take care of our grammar we have to make sure we are choosing words wisely good vocabulary should be there and natural tone we are going to talk about our own experience if it is good experience then you have to sound really excited if it is worst experience say for example if they ask us to talk about one of the worst vacation vacation ever then obviously we will have the disappointment in our tone right so we should have that natural tone in, in our conversation that is really important and the fourth thing is connectors while using the connectors make sure that you are using variety of connectors like however moreover on the other hand in addition to instead of all these things don't use that and and also word so many times one time is fine but not more time that is what i am saying so fifth point is time management we have to uh talk for 60 seconds here so once you while you are reading that question itself try to you know okay fine we can talk about this we can talk about this we can talk about this experience like that you should quickly think and uh, come up with the situation you can uh, talk about that during this 60 seconds so this is about part 2 friends and the next part is part 3 describing a scene here they will give us a picture we have to see that picture and describe it to the person who cannot see it so we can start this with a generalized greeting like hi there uh, in this picture i i am seeing like that only we have to start but the very important thing is the first line should give an overview of the picture to that person that is the examiner whom we are going to talk say for example if i am seeing a, a picture which has a playground school play, playground in it i can i can see, say like in this picture i can see a glimpse of a big school playground so this is how we have to start our uh, speaking so once you give an overview we have to start describing the picture it is not possible to uh, you know describe all the things that are there in the picture we, we will get only 60 seconds to describe it 30 seconds to prepare for it so just choose uh some 3 to 4 uh, persons or things that are there in the picture you have to choose main things so that we can uh, talk more about it say for example if you are talking about a person you can start with the position position words are really important at the background of this picture in the front of the picture in the right hand corner of the picture i can see in the left hand side of the picture i can see so all these things we can say the position words are really important and if you are talking about the pers- particular person we can describe the uh, dress the dress color sandal we can uh, describe and the, and the person from the face we can uh, talk about their feelings as well say for example in a playground there are so many kids they are playing i can say like uh, there is a small boy uh, in yellow t-shirt and blue color uh, shorts he is playing happily with the uh, football 
like that I can see and there is a cute girl who is wearing an yellow skirt and a pink t-shirt and she is playing happily with the in a slide and she is having a broad smile on her face so all this description will give an actual picture to that person to whom we are talking so this level of description they will expect they don't expect like the, okay fine in this picture i can see there is a slide i can see there is a uh, children playing i can see there is a monkey bar no this is not this is not enough and this is not good we have to talk we have to describe it we just don't have to point and say it we have to describe what is there in the picture we have to give the feel look and feel of the picture is really important here so make sure that you are describing it really well position words is really important and uh, the while describing any person we can talk about their dressings also and dressing colors and all and the facial expressions we can say and um, and the vocabulary as far as vocabulary is concerned in this picture playground picture slide monkey bars seesaw uh, here they want uh, tell it as football instead they will uh, tell it as soccer ball so soccer ball so all these things comes under vocabulary so we have to describe the main picture items uh, with this name and as usual we have to make sure grammar is really good vocabulary items vocabulary words are really good and natural tone is also very much important here and uh, connectors here connectors here we will not have any connectors instead we will have the position words in the right hand side of the picture i can see this in the left hand side i can see this all these are very important here and the time management 60 seconds we have to talk select the main items in the picture Uh, which is easy to talk and very descriptive so that we can talk more about those things alone